My name is Wyatt Lane, Sales and Marketing Director from WorldCat. I'd like to welcome you aboard the new 280 DCX, our latest addition to the fleet to come out of the factory there in North Carolina. The boat we're about to walk through, I'm quite confident will soon be one of the world's number one selling 28-foot dual consoles. After we spend some time going through the front of the boat, the middle of the boat, and the back of the boat, I'm confident you'll see exactly why I make that comment. The boat's absolutely beautiful. It's taken the whole new uh, level to dual consoles with aesthetics, with comfort, seating, uh, upholstery, and amenities that uh, just are going to completely blow away this, this segment of the market. In the front of the boat, just like all of our World Cats, we have a tremendous amount of bow space. We take advantage of the bow space with upholstered seating. We've got the backrest at just the right angle for comfortable seating for a number of adults, children enjoying themselves on the front of the boat. Underneath the, the gunnels, we've got uh, cup holders, we've got USB ports. Uh, standard this year, we've switched over to the JL Audio uh, white speakers. We have an additional uh, electronic stereo upgrade option where we can include an amplifier and larger uh, subwoofer for uh, that additional entertainment area. Also on the 280 hull, when we introduced the 28 center, we did the same thing with the 280 DC. We really cleaned up the deck cap. We've been able to incorporate a windlass inside the starboard side of the hull and allowing a through hull anchor to come through the middle of the tunnel and then the actual windlass off the starboard side. To kind of top that off, we incorporate an optional polished stainless anchor to really show off the front of the boat for you. Underneath the seats on the starboard side, this box actually opens up and provides a tremendous amount of space, an unbelievable amount of storage area. Goes from this area all the way back to underneath the helm. Um, it's got a glass liner in there. There is a recess for a five gallon bucket. Um, there's a deeper area for additional storage of safety gear, life jackets, stowables, whatever you're after. Tremendous amount of space on the starboard side. Off to the port side, we have a finished uh, fiberglass tub. That tub is uh, insulated, allows for overboard drainage if you did happen to take this boat and do some fishing with it. Otherwise, you could use it as dry storage, uh, clean, out of the way. Um, tons of space, tons of storage throughout the entire bow section. Uh, as we move back, I'm going to point out some of the things that have really raised the bar with the way this boat looks. Not only is the 28 DCX uh, the best running 28 foot dual console on the market, it is without a doubt the best looking 28 foot dual console on the market. Uh, the traditional dual console market tended to be a little bit stoggy and uh, more focused on comfort than overall aesthetics. When we designed the 28 dual console, uh, we incorporated a frameless acrylic windshield, uh, completely raised the bar on how the, uh, the overall look of the boat is. The helm area is uh, an acrylic glass dash look. Uh, we recess uh, Garmin 76 series, we recess the Yamaha gauge, and we're able to mount a Garmin VHF 110 in the uh, helm area as well. We've incorporated a nice shroud over that helm, uh, the Ritchie Navigator Series Compass. Visibility from the seating position or from the standing position is fantastic. You're really able to see the horizon throughout the entire RPM range. Another huge benefit of running the catamaran hull. On the port side, we match the, the helm seating with a really unique feature that allows us to have both forward-facing seats as well as aft-facing seats. The seat mechanism itself is extremely easy to operate uh, with the simple push of the foot and you can roll the seat back to about three or four different positions allowing you to either sit facing forward with uh, another person facing back or you can roll that backrest forward and create a sun pad lounger out of it. In order to, to make that sun pad lounger even um, more comfortable or more spacious, we uh, we changed the angle of the head door on the port side. We actually incorporate the backrest into that head door. As with all of our boats, the head area on the port side, a tremendous amount of headroom. It's uh, fully finished inside. It's got a freshwater head system. 
It also incorporates a freshwater sink, stainless bowl under there with a Corian countertop. Uh, over top, uh, we have the surfboard styled edge hardtop. We've got a beautiful uh, powder coated frame. We're able to incorporate um, manual sure shade covering the cockpit area in the back of the boat. And we can also offer a bow shade, uh, basically providing a complete canopy for those uh, hot days, whether you be it in the Caribbean or the Florida sun or, or the northeast heat that, that gets there in the summertime. After the helm seat, we've incorporated an entertainment area. Uh, the entertainment area has a standard Corian countertop. It's got a stainless uh, freshwater sink, and then it also has a standard um, uh, cooler storage area. You can opt for the additional grill, which includes an inverter and additional batteries, and you can also opt for a refrigerator making a complete summer kitchen out of the uh, entertainment package on the starboard side. With that, I'd kind of like to move backwards, show you the seating in the transom area, as well as how that whole cockpit's laid out. When the engineers designed the 28 dual console, they incorporated a transom walkthrough door that's offset to the port side. Offsetting that walkthrough allowed us to have a full bench seat to the starboard side, which provides seating for two people, uh, allowing you to sit next to somebody and communicate while you're on that run or uh, heading offshore, whatever it is, it's just a nice, comfortable seat. Uh, the backrest is at the right height, and it provides comfortable seating for two of you together while you're cruising. Also across the transom area, we've got additional cup holders. There's actually um, four cup holders throughout the entire cockpit area. Uh, one other thing with the transom is uh, the most popular feature of all of our boats, and that's the swim ladder. Again, the ladder, uh, folds down, turns into a set of steps versus an actual ladder. So getting in and out of the water is, is the, it, it's the easiest thing there is to say about a catamaran that that, that water access is, is as simple as it gets. As you come in the cockpit, you come in off to the port side, tons of space, tons of room inside the area. Um, quick, easy access to your mechanicals. Your mechanical hatches are on both port and starboard in the cockpit area. Uh, quick access, pumps, um, filters, through hole fittings, everything is accessed inside the cockpit area. Um, the entire cockpit area is open. Uh, we offer an additional seagrass flooring to kind of uh, help that, that cockpit sole stay clean. Um, we have combing bolsters throughout the entire area. And uh, as stated earlier, we've got the sure shade, which will cover this entire area for uh, a little shade in, inside that hot sun. Um, fresh water system, um, redundant systems, fuel tanks on either side, Yamaha 200s, extremely efficient, top end on the boats in the 40 plus mile an hour range, and a comfortable cruise making more than two miles per gallon. Um, 28 dual console, uh, 280 DCX, without a doubt, the prettiest 28 foot dual console in the market, uh, utilizing the catamaran hull. Uh, the best running 28 foot dual console on the market. Uh, I'd love to encourage you to take a look at our site, www.worldcat.com, or reach out to us at sales at worldcat.com and let us figure out how to get you to your closest dealer and take a ride on one of the 28 dual consoles. Thank you.